What I'm saying is that we've been given to believe and understand that astrology is evil, is of the devil and all of that, and have nothing to do with it. Why? Because the church does not want you to discover the name of the tomb. The church does not want you to discover that for as far back as the human race goes, the kings, the rulers, the princes of the earth, all of the intellectuals, all of the most important people in the world know that the whole universe operates around the God's divine plan of the ages. It's astrology is from God. That's from the Bible. And consequently, until we have the proper respect for original astrological concepts, we're never going to figure out what these symbols mean and what, why we're in the trouble we are today. Astrology is a very powerful symbol. And it was used by the ancient Hebrews. It was used by the ancient Christians. And why do you, why do you think uh, you have in the Bible, the Old Testament, the twelve brothers of Joseph? And the twelve tribes of Israel. And the twelve apostles. What are you talking about? Twelve, twelve, twelve. Why twelve? It's the twelve signs of the zodiac. The twelve hours of day. The twelve hours of night. God's son. That's why thirteen is an unlucky number. God's son with his chosen twelve is a divine number in heaven. Thirteen. So consequently, the whole of Western civilization is based all religion is based on astrology. We just don't know that. And that's why the church has told you have nothing to do with it because they don't want you to know the real truth. We need to understand astrology is the basis for all religions in the world. And yes, we're living in the last days and the end times. Of what? We're living in the last days of the age of Pisces. Pisces is a symbol of the two fish. And this is why Jesus is called the great fisherman. The two fish. What's coming? What is the next age we're going into? Well, go to Luke in the Bible, in the New Testament. Luke 22.10. Luke 22.10. The apostles asked, his twelve followers asked Jesus, where are we to go now that you're leaving this world? Where are we to go? And he says in the book of Luke 22.10, And you will see a man carrying a pitcher of water. Go into the house of the man with the water pitcher. The man with the water pitcher? The house of the man with the water pitcher? Is this the house of Aquarius? Because that's the symbol of Aquarius, is a man carrying a pitcher of water. Go to any good Christian Jewish reference work in the world, and all reference works will tell you that in the ancient world, no man ever carried water. Ever. That was unheard of in the ancient world. Men don't carry water. Women would go to the well. Women would get the water. Never would a man go to get water. It was unheard of. That was a woman's job. She goes to the well. Well, then why would Jesus say to his apostles, go into the city and you will see a man with a water pitcher? Go into the house of the man with the water pitcher. The story is an astrological story saying that the last Passover, the last supper, is in the age of Pisces, the two fish. And now we're going to go into the house of the man with the water pitcher. The next 2,000 year period coming, which is called the kingdom of God that we're all praying for God's kingdom to come and his will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. And I have news for you. The kingdom is going to come like it is in heaven on earth, whether you like it or not. And whether you understand it or not, it just don't matter. It's coming anyway. The world events are fastly coming to a place where we're going to discover that we've been lied to and deceived by the religions and the governments of the world. And so I'm saying that I feel it is a time that we should now begin to reflect on what it is we believe, why we believe it, and remembering that the Scripture says many will look with their eyes but not see, listen with their ears but not hear, and with the heart not get the sense of it. 
we are going into some very perilous times, and it's, a tie, it's an idea whose time has come to wake up and do your homework. And I want to thank you for listening to me.